Pony Star Video here, coming to you through the RJB Zeros channel, and I'm going to be bringing you the next episode of This Deck Makes Me Better at Yu-Gi-Oh! The deck of the day is going to be Windups, because Windups is a very fun, interesting deck built of a lot of low-level, weak monsters that boost each other and can work very well with all different engines. This deck does a really good job of teaching you deck building and the ability to make your whole deck synergized with the rest of the deck. Some decks like Fire Fist have the ability to sit on one monster or even two monsters such as the Gorilla or the Bear just sitting there on the field being able to pop tankies, pop tensus, and just keep summoning one or two monsters just keeping a slow presence while they build up the presence in their hand that they need to explode. Other decks can do very similar things and just sit on one monster, maybe two monsters for a while while they get their cards back. Windups don't have that option. They have to work very, very carefully to keep hand presence and card presence at all times in order to have any kind of advantage over the opponent. Luckily, the deck does a really good job of this because it can work very well with different engines, such as the Burning Abyss engine, level 3 monsters that can summon themselves and make different plays, and the Artifact engine, level 5 monsters that summon themselves and make more plays by popping your opponent's cards or just doing silly little things. So how does this all work into deck building? You can build yourself a 60 card windup deck with cards in theory that will never be bad, but overall when you actually try to play it, it'll be terrible because windups like very specific order and very specific situations and deck building. So when you build a windup deck, you have to be very very careful on what cards you run, how many of each card you run, and why you're running each card. You cannot run any card in the deck that really only has one use because it will be dead in any given situation because of it, such as the wind-up rabbit. It can both keep your monster, keep itself in play by bouncing itself every single turn, or keep a key monster for a later turn in play, such as if you're playing the wind-up magician, banishing it to have it return on the next turn, gain its effect a second time, and be able to explode a second time, gaining its special summon from deck effect. That is something you have to be very, very careful of because every card must have the second use. Cards like Book of Moon and Forbidden Lands, everyone already knows has two uses. An offensive use, stopping your opponent's plays or weakening their monster so you can beat over it, or a defensive use, trying to just keep your monsters from dying by flipping them face down or getting their effects, and a defensive use of making it so your monster doesn't die from cards like Dark Hole or Raigeki. These cards in this wind-up deck have to be able to do that within the perfect ratio of each separate card, and windups do a perfect job of teaching you this. There are only certain windup monsters you want to run. There are some that are fun to run, and some that you need to. We have three copies of the windup shark, three copies of the rat, and three copies of the rabbit, being the main ones that you need to run. There are not a lot others that are mandatory, but these ones are very, very important for how the deck needs to run. Once you get simple ratios like that down, you're able to start realizing the other combos and possibilities of the deck. You have a lot of room in the deck at the same time as you have very specific room because you cannot mess with how the deck flows, how the deck runs, and how everything goes together. There are cards like the Wind-Up Warrior that says once while it's face up on the field, you can increase the level of a wind-up by one. So you can boost his own level to level five, making it so you can XYZ this card with artifact engine cards, or you can boost a level three wind-up card in order to make rank fours with that monster, such as the Rat, which turns the defense to summon it. This deck teaches you, you gotta remember each one of these cards has to be able to do this, and you have to remember you don't want too many of a certain card because it could become dead. Not a lot of decks do a good job of teaching this because you have decks like the Teller Knights, which is sort of just a run three of everything of the good ones and maybe one or two of your own techs if you feel the need to. A lot of the deck building seems to be very engineered around the same thing. And as the RJB0 was saying in his Mermail video, you don't see very many wind-up decks that are exactly the same because the trap lineup and the engines can be completely different to complete other builds of the same deck. Some decks can run hands because level 4 monsters, some decks don't. Some decks can run artifacts because of level 5s, and some decks can run burning abyss because of level 3s. You don't need to run all, I wouldn't suggest running all, but the deck does a really really good job of incorporating each one of these things. And because each one of these cards isn't bad, and how you can choose how you want the deck to run, it teaches you very 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 well how to be a good deck builder. That is something that's very difficult to learn currently from some of the main decks going around because it's all so linear with how the deck are supposed to run. After playing a lot on Dev Pro, Dueling Network, or even just in real life since the deck's kind of cheap, you learn how the deck is supposed to play and how you can play decks, how you can build decks, what times you think specific engines will be good or bad based on how you play this deck, and it just does an amazing job of helping you get better at the game. 
I just say thanks to the RJB0 for giving me this chance to upload. If you liked the video, remember to like it, comment down below, and subscribe to the RJB0 if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you really did, go ahead and check me out at Pointy Star, because we just do a lot of fun stuff over there, like deck profiles and just talking about some underrated decks. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a wonderful day. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, check out Vio's channel linked in the description below.